Even before the arrival and disappearance of the woodland buffalo, prehistoric animals roamed these parts. In 1903, a farmer named Waldo Connard stumbled onto a large sinkhole on his land and discovered it was littered with old bones, including a four-inch tooth he learned was the remnants of a saber-toothed tiger. Connard invited Barnum Brown of the American Museum of Natural History in New York to investigate. Hey. Waldo uh, was a farmer. Uh, and Brown's discoveries still intrigue scientists who know the whereabouts of this unmarked place, barely a stone's throw from the National River. Yeah, this is a mammal bone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it got spongy yeah. material in the center, yeah. And here, I mean, you had you know, more bones than you could deal with, really. Well, we had uh, 37 uh, genera. No, uh, well, Brown uh, described 40 uh, mammals. 40 mammals, 40 yeah. mammals, wow. uh, 20 of which were extinct and new to science. Mm -hmm. So 50% of the mammals that he took out, and, and he focused on the mammals, of course, um, mm -hmm. were new to science. Wow. 